Hi, it's Clara. How are you? So I'm going to do a bit of a um, more advanced um, feet series uh, today. So have a strap with you. We're going to use a strap for sure. We're going to start laying down on our back. So I'll get you to, to join me there. Um, I really believe that um, working the muscles of our feet, getting into the fascia in our feet is really important. The feet are the base of our structure and because we wear shoes so much and we're seated so much and we drive and, and you know because of our lifestyle, a lot of us have a lot of issues with our feet. The muscles are quite weak, um, the mobility in the ankles is weak. So if you have stiff feet, weak feet, it's going to eventually show up in your knees, uh, your ankles and your hips, your low back. It's all connected, right? So grab a strap and if you don't have a strap, you can take a tie or a piece of rope um, or a tea towel or a rolled up towel and I'm going to show you some great exercises for the feet, okay? Let's go. All right, start laying down on your back. Have your strap nearby. We're going to use it in a moment. Plant the soles of your feet and then just draw them into the chest. Circle up through the ankles. You can even make some knee circles. And just be aware of your breath. You know that I'm big on the breath, bringing as much awareness to the breath as you can is always helpful. So you can take the knees in the same direction, maybe massaging out the low back a little bit. Or you can take them in opposite directions, it doesn't really matter. The hips are our largest joint and they're often our stiffest. So we need to wake them up quite often. All right. And then zip up the inner lines of the legs. So squeeze your ankles, your toe mounds, your knees, your thighs together. Draw the knees into the chest. Bring your palms to the floor and press your heels towards the ceiling. See if you can make two legs into one. So keep them connected and press the heels towards the ceiling. That's it. And you can just point and flex the feet a little bit here. You might be waking up the back lines of the legs a little bit. Here comes Bella. She likes to be involved. And then bring your arms to cactus. Bring your knees back into your chest. Bring your arms to cactus. Flex your feet. So keep the feet active. Here we go. We're going to press the heels towards the ceiling and extend through our arms as much as we can. Reach through the fingers. So the elbows always reveal what's happening in our shoulders. So if your elbows are bent, your arms don't want to straighten, or if your arms don't come to the floor, you're going to take as much extension through the arms as you can, and as much extension through the legs as you can, zipping up the inner line of the legs. And then slowly draw the knees into the chest. Bring the arms back to cactus. If you can, keep the backs of your hands connected to the floor or to the mat. And then move through this. Press. You can point your toes, you can circle out your ankles or your wrists, and then bring it back. Push the low belly into the spine so we're engaging the core. Move through this a few times. Moving with your breath. Take your time here. Breathe. Feel the extension through the arms. Feel the connection of your whole back body to the mat. So if you can keep your shoulder blades connected, between the shoulder blades, the middle of the back, the low back. Breathe through this. Yeah, that's it. And this is really good for the shoulders as well. Full, slow, deep inhales. Full, slow, deep exhales. And then slowly bring the knees back into the chest. Let's take the knees wide. That's it. You can rock back and forth here. Again, just massaging out through the low back. And then take the shins to vertical. Flip your feet up like you're holding up the ceiling. Hands are going to come somewhere to the insides of your legs. Now, if your bum is lifting up, okay, then just bring your hands closer towards your knees. Flatten out your back. Really engage the core. Push the low belly into the spine. You can use the insides of your arms or the backs of your forearms just on the insides of the legs. Get a little bit into the hips here. And if it feels good, you can rock back and forth or you can just find stillness. Maybe circle the ankles. There's really no right or wrong here. Notice what your body needs, what feels good. Go there. And then bring the knees back into the chest. Tuck the chin in, give yourself a squeeze. Let's take our strap, bring the soles of the feet to the floor. 
So take one end of the strap in each hand. Bring the ball of your right foot to the middle of the strap. So I'm always mirroring you when you see me on your screen. When I say the ball of the foot, it's where your toes connect to the rest of the foot, not the arch. Okay, you're, the ball of your foot is meant to take some weight, so that's where you want the strap. All right, and then press the heel towards the ceiling. You've got one end of the strap in each hand. You might need to wrap them around your hands. So really press out through that heel. Like you're trying to get your heel higher than your toes, use the strap to encourage the toes back towards your face. If you need to bend your knee, bend your knee. Feel the engagement of the core. Okay, everybody's going to be different here. So notice what the back of the leg is doing. See if you can in inhale to engage and expand, exhale to release. Notice how that feels. You might want to move through this or you might just want to keep the leg extended. Breathe. You've got the strap for a little bit of support but also a little bit of resistance. So feel that. Breathe into that. You might be juicy. And now point your toe. I suggest moving the arms up a little bit. Curl your toes around the end of the strap. Take as much length into the front of the leg as you can. Feel that in the top of the foot. And then flex. So you can move through this, point and flex. Use your breath here. Again, your knee might be bent, that's okay. You're still getting an extension in the back of the leg. You have to accommodate your low back and your hamstring. So do what you need to do and notice if you get a little bit more length, a little bit more engagement in that muscle. Again, as much as possible, try to have the movement follow the breath. Take your time here. That's it. Now if you want to add, if you want to make this a little juicier, you can extend the left leg long. Have the heel rest and engage the toes on the left foot. So you can move through it this way. It's a little bit easier on the low back to have the foot planted on the floor, but if you want a bit more of a challenge, extend this leg long. And breathe through that. That's it. Okay, I'm going to bend my knee just because it's easier for me to talk if I've got this foot planted. All right, and now you've got the strap in your hands. I'm going to turn this way a little bit. So you've got one in the strap in each hand. It's like your steering wheel. We're going to pull down on the right side of the strap. Remember, I'm mirroring you. You're going to push your big toe mound, the arch, and the inner heel towards the ceiling. So you're cycling through the ankle like you're trying to make the inner seam of your leg a little bit longer. And if you wish, you can take this right leg across the midline. Just hover it over the left shoulder or the left hip if you want to get even juicier. So you might feel this in the piriformis, in the back side here of the bottom, sorry, the top of the, the thigh, the bottom of the low back. You can keep the leg straight over top, or you can take it slightly over to the left. So it would look something like this. Or you can keep it straight up and down. It's up to you. And now pull down on the left side of the strap. We're cycling the ankle in the opposite direction. We're pushing the outer blade of the foot more towards the ceiling. And again, the leg can be straight up and down, or you can take it slightly to the left. Just six inches or so, not very much. It's not way over here, just a little bit. And then you can move through this. And this can be really juicy. Keep the foot engaged. So keep pressing up through the heel at the same time. You're trying to make the back of the leg longer while you're taking the inner seam and the outer seam of the leg longer. And you've, you've got your strap here to help you with that. And if you need to linger in one spot longer than the other, that's fine too. Go ahead. Breathe into that. Really good for the feet. It. If you've got plantar fasciitis, right, if you've got that pain in the morning in the bottoms of your feet, this would help. Breathe into that. All right, let's bring that leg back over to the right side. Bring both ends into the strap into your right hand. Extend the left arm out to a T. Once again, engage through this leg. So press out through the heel. Then open the right leg to the right. You can use the back of your arm to support you. Press out through that heel. Now, as soon as you feel like you're tipping over, the left side of your body is starting to lift up off the mat, anchor through the core, push the low belly into the spine, anchor through the left palm. So you want to keep the left side of the body on the mat, and you're just pressing out through the skill. You can bend and straighten this leg if you wish. Breathe into this. Yeah. Really good for the legs, for the feet. You can try pointing here. 
You can keep the legs straight, but try not to tip to the right. Keep that left hip anchored down, left side of the body, left shoulder blade, left palm. Breathe into that. Okay, here we go. We're going to draw this right leg back up into the center. Pull the low belly into the spine. Let's take both ends of the strap into the left hand. Anchor through the right palm. Come to the outer blade of your left foot. Come on to the left hip. Let the right leg come over to the left side of the body. Whoa. And you've got the left arm anchoring you. Again, press out through the heel. You can bend and extend through the leg or keep it straight. And you can take this as deep as you wish. You're going to feel this in the back of the hamstring, the IT band, that whole outer part of the thigh. If it doesn't feel comfortable to anchor through the shoulder blade, bring your hand a little closer. Lift up. That's fine. Or you can take this, the twist a little bit deeper and open here. So again, lots of options. Always make micro adjustments as you move through anything that I offer. If it doesn't work for you, skip it. Wait till the next thing. Breathe into this. this left leg back into center. Let's switch on the fly. So bring the sole of the left foot, or the ball of the left foot, where the right foot was, plant through the right leg. That's it. Here we go. And inhale to lengthen. Exhale to release. Take as much resistance here as you wish. Remember that one side might feel very different than the other. So just Listen to your body, make sure the strap is around the ball of the foot, not the arch. And then when you're ready, you can point and flex this foot. Yeah, take length into the front line of the leg and then length into the back line of the leg. Like you're pointing your toes towards the ceiling and then pulling the toes back towards your face. And if you have one leg that feels stiffer than the other, breathe through this. I like to move the strap so the strap doesn't slip off and I still have a little bit of resistance while I get some length into the front of the leg. Feels good in the top of the foot. If your foot cramps, just give it a little wiggle. Maybe bend the knee, relax. Start again. And then again, we've got one end of the strap in each hand. Let's pull down on the left side of the strap. Start by pushing your big toe mound, the arch and the heel away from you. Press, press, press out through that. And take this left leg slightly to the right, cross the midline. It's a little bit juicier that way. You might feel that in the inside of the calf, through the whole fascia of the foot. Right? It runs up the back of the leg. It's all connected right into the low back. And then when you're ready, pull down on the right side of the strap. Push the outer blade of your left foot towards the ceiling. You can point and flex the foot here. You can, you can experiment a little bit. See what your feet need slowly over time this will start to feel better if it feels intense it, it probably you know it will in the beginning it'll feel better over time and again the leg can stay on the left side if you want to go a little bit deeper just let it cross the midline the most important thing is just to breathe if it feels too much take a break bend the knee re-engage leg back. Let's take both ends of the strap into the left hand. Extend the right arm out to a T. Press out through the heel. So engage through this leg. Here we go. We're opening the right leg, sorry, left leg to the left. Press out through the heel. You can bend the knee if you need to and press out through the heel. Now if this starts to lift up, this is what we don't want, right? We want to anchor, anchor through the core. Push, pull the low belly down, broaden out the back. You've got this arm to anchor you as well and press up through the heel. You can keep the leg straight, or you can bend and extend. Notice what you feel on this side. Maybe the right knee comes up to the right just slightly, just to give you a little bit more anchoring through the right hip so you're not lifting up there. Breathe. Draw that leg back to center. Pull the low belly into the spine. Engage the core. 
Let's take both ends of the strap into the right hand. Extend the left arm out to a T. Come to the outer blade of the right foot. We're rolling onto the right hip. The triceps on the floor gives you a little bit of support. Press out through the heel. You can lift up through the shoulder or you can anchor through the, sh the shoulder blade on the left side. You can have the foot flexed or tucked. Maybe you're extending the leg. So again, find what works for you here. You can bend the knee and extend out through the heel as much as you wish. Breathe into this. If you want to add another dimension, you can look away from, you can look to the left. Taking a twist a little bit deeper. Lots of options. Move with your breath. Notice what you feel in your body. So when you inhale to engage, we're asking the muscles obviously to engage. And then when you release, see if you can let go where it feels tight. Use that release to give the muscles and the joints that feel tight just that little bit more permission. Maybe it's a millimeter at a time. And then when you're ready, you're gonna draw that leg back into center. Release the strap. Oh, let's bring both knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And you can make some circles with the knees. Take the out of your hands, interlace them, the outer blades of the feet, bring the soles of the feet together, open the knees wide, pull them away from you, tuck the chin into the chest. Feel the stretch in the tops of the shoulders. If it doesn't work, you can have the head on the floor. Take a happy baby. And now you can bring the feet, sorry, hand to the feet, or even bring them to the backs of the thighs. Now, as you roll to one side, extend through one leg and then roll to the other side, extend through the other leg. And the hands can be on the feet or on the ankles, it doesn't matter. Breathe here. And then bring the knees into the chest, circle out the feet, give them a go. And once again, let's point the feet towards, the heels towards the ceiling, so press out through the heels. Anchor through the palms, push the low belly into the spine. Bring your toe mounds together, pull your heels apart. So I'm gonna change my ankle here, angle here. So I'm pulling my heels apart and my toes or toe mounds are staying together. Press out through the outer blades of the feet as much as I can. I might even crunch my toes in towards each other. Here. And now bring the blades of the feet together. Keep the heels together, pull the toes apart. Yeah. You're still extending through the legs as much as you can. Toes together, heels apart. Crunch the toes in maybe. And heels together, toes apart. Move through that. You can wiggle the toes. See if you can spread your toes. Move through this a few times. So you really gotta anchor through the core here. Push the low belly into the spine. Move through the feet. And then draw the knees into the chest. You can drop one knee, drop the other knee. Bring the feet to the floor. Oh. And you can windshield wiper through the legs. Letting one knee drop in to the other side. If you want to add a supine twist, maybe bring knees to one side. You can have the legs far apart. You can take one knee higher. Open. A little bit of a twist here just to release the low back. And then the other side, whatever feels good, whatever supine twist feels good. Again, you don't need to anchor through the shoulder. If you anchor through the shoulder blade, you're gonna get a little deeper into the low back. If you let the shoulder lift up, maybe you're getting a little more into the hip. So decide what you need here. And then draw the low belly into the spine. Take your strap once again. All right. Ball of the right foot comes to the middle of the strap. Let the strap slide through your hands. You've got one end in each hand. Lift up the left knee, zip up the knees together. Let the left heel hover just over your left um, foot bone. We're extending through this right heel as much as we can. So now we're gonna bend both knees, like we're crouching in. And now we're gonna press through the left heel long, 
right heel goes towards the ceiling. And then draw everything in. Squeeze the knees in towards each other. Squeeze the thighs in towards each other. And then press up through each heel. Like you're pushing a wall away with the left foot and you're holding up the ceiling with the right. And draw it in. And press wall. Move with your breath. This is very good for the SI joint. Sciatica. Plantar fasciitis. All of this works really well. Move through this. That's it. One more. And let's bring both knees in together. See if you can switch on the fly. Take the ball, the left foot into the middle of the strap. Hover the right heel above the right sit bone. Crouch everything in. Squeeze the thighs in together. Squeeze the knees in towards each other. And now press up through the right heel. Like you're pushing the wall away, left heel towards the ceiling. Make sure the strap is around the ball of the foot. And bring it in. And press. Move through this. A few times. That's it. Good job. Nice. counting. You can do as many or as little as you wish. Maybe one side needs a few extra, but try to feel balanced in your body as much as you can. And then draw the knees into the chest. Oh. And let's let the strap go. Set it aside. Bring both knees into the chest. Let's make some circles with the sacrum on the mat. One direction, the other direction. And then once again, let's bring the arms to cactus, right where we started with in this little short little sequence. Press the heels towards the ceiling, extend through the arms. Point through the toes, extend through the toes, reach the fingers long. Let me move on my mat a little bit here. You can see my whole body. That's it. And then draw it in. See if you notice a difference through the feet. Zip up the legs, the inner lines of the legs. You can even pull the heels apart or the toes apart when the legs are extended. Bring it all back in. Keep as much connection between your back body. So you're trying to flatten out your body. Push the low belly into the spine. And then extend through the arms. Keep as much connection through the backs of the hands as you can. And bring it in. One more time. Bring one sole of the foot to the floor. Let's take the hands behind the left calf. Tuck the chin into the chest. You can walk the hands up towards the ankle or they can stay behind the thigh if that's all you've got. Notice what the leg is asking for here. How much length can you bring into the back of that leg? You can tuck the chin into the chest and bring the knee a little closer to the nose. So don't bring so much through the torso that the nose is coming to the knee. You want the knee to come to the nose. You can bend the knee here. You can flex or point the foot. Always try to keep the feet active, keep them involved. And then draw one leg into the chest, extend that leg long. So I've got the left knee in extending through the right leg. Tuck the chin up, just engage that core a little bit more. And then bring both knees in. Switch legs, plant the sole of the left foot. We're going to interlace the fingers behind the right calf or the right thigh. Press that heel towards the ceiling. Feel that stretch here. Tuck the chin into the chest. Maybe walk the hands up a little further up the calf, bringing the knee closer towards the nose. Bend the knee if you need to. But take as much length into that leg as you can, and you can point and flex the foot. Notice the difference. Notice what it might offer you here. And then draw the knee into the chest. Oh, extend the left leg long. And lower the head and the shoulders. Let's take a happy baby. Bring the knees wide. Bring the feet, sorry, bring the shins to vertical. Hold up the ceiling with your feet. So keep the feet active. 
Again, the hands can be behind the thighs. If your bum is lifting up, I'd rather you bring your hands closer towards your knees and try to make your back broader on the mat. And notice how you feel in your hips. See if you feel a little looser each time we revisit this. You can rock back and forth and extend your one leg and the other. If that doesn't work for you, just ignore. And then tuck your chin into your chest, interlace the fingers. Take a nice Baddha Konasana here, this butterfly pose. If you can rock yourself to a seated position, coming up, sitting up nice and tall. If not, you can rock, bring the knees together, rock along the length of your spine. You can come to a seated position that way. Or if neither of those work for you, you can roll to one side, sit up tall, bring the soles of your feet together. And we'll finish here, sitting up nice and tall. Let the knees come open, draw, zip up the core, draw the shoulder blades down the back. That's it. Good. And thanks for joining me today. Oh, hopefully you feel a little bit better through the feet. See you next time.